Hey everybody, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Tammy and this is Happiness Created. Today we're having a pumpkin party. I'll have more details on that in just a bit. DIY number one. I have this set of little charcuterie boards from Target Dollar Spot. I got them a while back. These transfers from Dollar Tree and then energetic orange from folk art i gave the boards two coats now i only end up keeping one of the boards uh the other one uh, the uh transfer just didn't behave so but that's okay so i'm taking these transfers these pumpkin transfers and i am going to add them to the charcuterie board Now, once I get those added, I'm going to take a few tumbling tower blocks because I want this to be like a shelf sitter. So I am adding, um, I'm hot gluing a couple of the um, tumbling tower blocks together. And that still wasn't enough to hold it up. So I did have to add a couple more in the back. Uh, just so that it would stand on its own. Once that's done, I'm going to take some of this jute from Dollar Tree. It's like the beige and natural color. And I'm just going to do a finger bow. Um, now, I do have other videos where I've slowed this down for you so that you can see what I'm doing. I will try to put one of them up in the cards um, so that you can check it out. Now, I have some of these leaves from one of my picks. Uh, from the Dollar Tree that I've kind of torn apart. So I'm just going to cut it apart and I am going to add the pieces right to the top of the pumpkin. And then lastly, I'm going to take that little finger bow and place it right under the stem, <laughs> which is the handle of the charcuterie board. Anyway, here it is. I think it's so adorable. I absolutely love the way this came out. Let me know what you guys think. So as I said earlier, we're having a pumpkin party. Anyway, <laughs> I love this challenge. So it is hosted by my sweet dear friend Ellie from DIY from House to Home and yours truly. And this month our guest host is C from CJ DIY, who is also a dear, dear friend of mine. I will have both of their channels as well as the playlist linked in my description box down below. Once you're done with my video, head on down and check out the playlist. You're going to absolutely love it. If you're looking for pumpkin inspiration, this is the place to be. DIY number two. I have these plastic bowls from the Dollar Tree. There's three of them. So I'm going to take the orange, energetic orange, and I give all of them three coats on the inside only. 
Now once that's done, I'm going to take two of them, put them side by side, and take the third one and lay it right on top of the other two. Now, I will say that this is not my original idea. Um, I did see Amanda from Six Kids and a Glue Gun do something similar. Um, I will link her channel down below if you want to go check her out. She's pretty amazing. Uh, anyway, so I'm taking some um, E6000 and some hot glue, and I am going to attach this one to the top of the other two pieces. Now, hindsight being 2020, I should have done the bottom two first, but you know, I'm a little backwards anyway. So, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over as soon as, well, I'm reinforcing it right now with some more hot glue just to be sure. And then I'm going to flip it over and do some E6000 and hot glue on just the edge of the two bottom pieces, which are now on the top, as you can see. And then I wanted to reinforce it further. So I did take a tumbling tower block and I used the E6000 and the hot glue to adhere that right to the front or the back of everything. Uh, and that worked out great. It was able to stand on its own for the most part. Um, and I fixed that later as well. So for the stem, I'm just taking two tumbling tower blocks and I'm going to hot glue them together as you see here. And then I'm going to, I just kind of place it where I want it and take a pen and just kind of mark it so I know where to put all of the glue. And then I'm gonna take some E6000 and some hot glue and I'm going to attach the stem to the pumpkins or pumpkin, it's singular, not plural. You get what I mean. <laughs> Now I'm going to take this raw umber from Chalkology. It is um, an acrylic paint, and I'm just going to go over the tumbling tower blocks with this color to darken that up. Now I have some more of these just spare leaves that are <laughs> kicking around. We all have them, right? Um, pieces from picks from various places. I believe these are the Dollar Tree. Anyway, I just slit one area and folded it over because I wanted to cover up the little hole. And then um, I am just going to, I hot glued them together and then I'm hot gluing them right to the top of the pumpkin. And I do that on both sides of the stem. Now, once that's done, I have one of those faux leather words from the Dollar Tree. This one says grateful. And I am just going to hot glue the areas that are going to be touching the pumpkin. And I am just hot gluing it at an angle to the front of the pumpkin. Then I'm going to take these two ribbons from the Dollar Tree. Guys, have you seen the fall ribbon? Oh my goodness, I know I'm a little late to the game, but they have really stepped it up with their ribbon. But anyways, so I am just taking some jute twine. I take two, the two pieces of ribbon and make the awareness ribbon, scrunch it in the center, and then I'm tying it off with the jute, and then I am going to dovetail the ends. And then once that's done, of course, I cover the center where the jute is and then I'm going to hot glue it to the stem and that's it look at how adorable this came out I think it's so so stinking cute let me know what you guys think 
So I wanted to let you all know I am on Instagram, Facebook, and Pinterest. I also have a buy me a coffee link if you would like to support my channel that way. But either way, stop on by and say hi. I would love to hear from all of you. Okay, on to DIY number three. Now, I got this glass butter dish from Hobby Lobby. Yes, I did spend the 12 Actually, it was not $12.99 because it was 40% off. So anyway, and then I got these round pieces of wood from Hobby Lobby as well. So I painted the round circles with that raw umber. And now I'm taking some Mod Podge and I'm at the very bottom of this jar. I did not want to go get more down in the basement, so I used what I had. Um, and then I just add some of that energetic orange to the cup and stir it all up. And then I'm just going to paint the inside of this butter dish. This is not food safe, so please don't make this and put food in it. Um, there are Mod Podges that, Mod Podges, and there are, there is a Mod Podge that is food safe. However, if you mix it with paint, I don't think it would be, but you can also use food coloring. So there's that. So anyways, I give the whole dish two coats of this paint. Now I'm taking some of that jute and I just hot glued it to the back. Now I know... I know hot glue and glass are not friends, but it worked. It worked enough to hold it together so that I could make a bow around the stem. So uh, I did the you know first portion where you tie the knot and hot glued it, and then I just made the little bow. And then I did do a finger bow as well. And I am just going to hot glue that right on top of the bow that I just made. Just makes it a little bigger, a little thicker. Uh, and then I just cut the tails when I am done with that. And then I have these little sunflowers from the Dollar Tree. I just took one and I put it in the center of the bow. Now I'm taking those circles and I'm using some E6000 and some hot glue uh, to adhere them to the bottom of this dish. And then when it's all dry, this is what it looks like. I think it's so adorable. It kind of reminds me of Cinderella's carriage, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's so cute. DIY number four. So I have these wood mason jar cutouts I got from Michaels, my cashew Waverly chalk paint, and these rub-on transfers. And then I have silver rub-on buff, which I used for the top for like the lid part. So I'm going to take these rub-on transfers. I cut, cut it like in almost in half. And I am going to take this portion and I am going to add it to the top of this mason jar cutout. Now I'm going to take one of these smaller rub-on transfers. I think it's for, supposed to be for a glass, but I used it here anyways. And I just added that to the very center of this mason jar. Now, once that's done, I'm going to take the piece that I cut off and I'm just going to add that to the bottom of the jar. So now if I'm being totally honest with you, it was at this point that I realized 
uh, there's no pumpkin on this and this is supposed to be a pumpkin party. So I took some of those pumpkin rub-on transfers and I used just the greens and like the cream colored pumpkins and I added those to the sides of the wording and just kind of scattered some of the smaller ones as well as the little leaves that were on the same sheet as the pumpkins just so that it brought in that color if that makes sense anyway you'll see so now i'm taking some jute twine and i'm going to just wrap it around i hot glued it to the back and i'm going to wrap it around the top part of the jar and hot glue it to the back again and chop it off <laughs> and that kind of separates like the cover from you know so now i have these pip berries i think they're called um and i'm just going to take those and i'm going to wrap those around at the top a couple times and yeah just hot glue it to the actually don't even hot glue it i just kind of wrap it around itself um and that held it just fine then I'm just going to take another piece and wrap it around one of my paint brushes to give it that little swirly effect. And I will add that to the bottom part, as you can see here. Now I'm going to take these three different ribbons I got from the Dollar Tree and I'm going to attempt to make a messy bow. Now I'm usually not very good at this. I think this one came out okay, uh, but you'll have to let me know what you think. So I just cut two strips of each of the designs and I am just going to stack them crisscross on each other and then take a little bit of jute and tie it off in the center. And of course, if you know me, I took a small piece to wrap around the center to cover the jute. And once that's all together, I'm just going to hot glue this cute little bow in place. And that's it for this one. I think this is adorable. I absolutely love it. I love all the colors and how everything just kind of flows together. I filled in all the gaps with all the extra little pieces of transfers. Anyway, let me know what you guys think of this one. So I want to thank Ellie and C for joining me with this playlist. I had so much fun creating these projects. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and give it a great big thumbs up for me. It really helps me out with YouTube. It lets them know that you enjoy my content and they'll push it out for others to enjoy as well. If you're new to my channel or coming over from the playlist, welcome.
I hope you'll consider sticking around and hit that subscribe button. And don't forget the bell so you'll be notified every time I upload a brand new video. I thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend with me. And I will see you next time.